I'd like to show you a tool that might just make 3D printing even more fun, especially if you're like me and you can't design your way out of a paper bag. The tool is Meshi AI, and it was made for creating 3D assets for game design, but it can also make STL files so you can send straight to your 3D printer. Now, for full disclosure, this is a sponsored post, but my opinions are my own, and so are my results. Meshi set me up with a free month of their pro account, which comes with a thousand credits, so I could just spam the crud out of this tool. I got to try out all the features and see what works and what doesn't. I had a lot of fun with Meshi AI, and I think you will too. The tool is completely free to try out, but I recommend you go ahead and subscribe to the full version to get the best experience. I'll explain why in a bit, but first, let me show you what I made. This is my dog. <laughs> Okay, oh gosh, I don't know what I was going to say about her. Uh, this is Ripley, and she is is a, a beastie. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is my dog, and this is my dog on AI. This is not 100% AI generated. This is a real dog. <laughs> and this is my dog on AI. This is 100% AI generated. I painted it in my slicer and other than trimming off the bottom to make the feet more stable, I did no cleanup on this model. If you know me, you know I only do Tinkercad and I have no skills for organic modeling or using complex sculpting tools. I also made this little person, which may or may not be me, to go with the dog. You might remember a while back people were using AI art to make action figures of themselves, so I thought I'd give it a try. Let me show you how I did it. Meshi can make models two ways, from text prompts or images. Now, there's also an AI image generator that can help if you don't have a good drawing or photo on hand. The text prompt is pretty good, but it can't read your mind, and it can't give you exactly what you're thinking of yet. The designers at Meshi have made a list of keywords to steer your text prompts into certain genres or to nail down a particular texture. There's also guides on how to craft your prompts. Meshi provides a lot of help along the way so you can get really good results. If you use the text to 3D and type in something generic like dog, it will give you what the algorithm says is a dog. Cute. But it's no Ripley. If you want custom models, it's better to show Meshi what you want. Now this brings us over to the image to 3D. Now I want to be honest with you. When I tried to go directly from a photograph of my dog that I took in the yard, it was not great. There is just too much detail in the picture and it overwhelmed the program. Now what Meshi needs is a nice clean image and some good contrast. We're dealing with a computer program here, so let's cut it a little slack. You have a couple of options. You can use the AI generator and give it your photo as a reference, and then it will make you a new image. Or you can use a different art program to make drawings of whatever you want and then give that to the image to 3D generator. It can make a model from one photo, but if you give it three sides of the image, you know, front, left, right, it can do a whole lot better. And that's how I got this model. 100% AI generated, no blender needed.
I know a lot of us are worried about using AI and how it could be stealing from real life human artists, but I'm going to do a deeper dive on that in a future video. For now, the important thing to know is that Meshi is just a tool. It's a really smart tool and it was trained on open source data and properly attained assets. They do not use their customers' private data for training. But if you want to help Meshi out, well, then you can join the community. All these models on the website are community generated open source models. It's free for you to use, to remix, and to learn from, so you can make your own prompts. You do need to have a subscription if you want to download these, or you can use the prompts and type them up yourself and see what it can give you with your own flair. Meshi will even give you free credits if you share your models and follow your favorite human artists on their website. And don't worry, when you become a subscriber, sharing models is completely optional. This will let you keep all of your models private, even from Meshi itself. If you're using Meshi to design game assets or art for your portfolio, you can totally do that safe and secure. Now let's talk pricing. You can start using Meshi totally free. You don't need to give it a credit card to sign up for an account, and you can start testing it right away. You'll get 100 free credits to start and 10 downloads of your own creations. You'll also get the textures and the ability to rig the models for animation. There is an important limit. Everything you make on the free plan is open source and shared on the community page, which is fine if you're just testing out the system. If you're serious, you're going to want the pro account. It's only $20 a month, and you can do it on a per month basis, which is great if you just want to make a project now, but you're not wanting to commit to being an everyday kind of user. But you're going to get a nice discount if you sign up for the whole year. Check out the description below. I might just have a discount code for you. The pro account unlocks everything an individual creator needs to use Meshi. You'll get 1,000 credits to generate your models, plus you'll have unlimited downloads, of both your models and the ones from the community. There's some speed perks in there, so you don't have to wait as long for your models and some bonus refreshes if you want the AI to take another stab at the same prompt without costing you any credits. It also unlocks multi-view image generation where you can give it three images to work from, texture editing, and you get access to a huge animation library. And most important, all of your assets are private and owned by you. If 1,000 credits a month isn't enough, you can either upgrade to Studio for $60 or buy more credits a la carte. The Studio account is great for power users, and you'll get faster generations and more refreshes. You can also use Studio if you're part of a team and you want to share your account. And, of course, there's the Enterprise level if you're a bigger company and you know who you are. So yeah, Meshi AI isn't just some gimmick. It's seriously fun and surprisingly powerful for anyone who wants to get into organic 3D modeling, even if they don't know Blender or how to sculpt. If you want to try it for yourself, check out the link in the description. Now you can start for free, and if you're ready to go in deeper, the pro plan really unlocks a ton of value. If you found this helpful or just cool to watch, please give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you would make with AI 3D modeling. I'd love to see it. Thanks for watching, happy printing, and I'll see you in the next one. Would you like, we're, we're talking about you. Yes, we are. Oh man, I wonder if I should get the, no. <laughs> it's not a treat. It's not a treat.